So I was reading uh, the comment uh, from Daniel Sam. I have to say something, man. Daniel Sam he used to break my balls a lot in the beginning, you know, but he used to call me the, the chicken fault. <laughs> I used to drive me crazy with that. But since then, um, I have to tell you, he is spot on with everything he says about Lou. And I have great respect for him. I mean, as of now, unless he breaks my balls again, <laughs> it's not calling me the chicken father again. But as of right now, I have great respect for Daniel Sam. So he's spot on with Lou. Lou said, okay, that today was going to be, what was it? Flash Crash Friday. Okay, let, let me repeat that. It's like Flash Gordon, you know, Flash Crash Friday. And it was going to destroy the hedge funds and it was going to send AMC to the moon. Okay. Well, what happened? <laughs> okay. So the thing is, aren't you starting to see like a pattern here? Aren't you starting to see how it's like the same thing over and over? Lou makes a prediction. Lou's wrong. Lou claims he has secret connections. Nothing he says comes to fruition. Every single prediction, every single thing that Lou says is wrong. So I'm going to come up with now a new hashtag. Are you ready? It's called hashtag you have been lewd. Now... <laughs> <laughs> There's a movie called Very Bad Things. I don't know if you ever saw it before. It's a really good movie, man. But like the guy was freaking out uh, from Entourage. I forget his name, the actor's name. But he's freaking out. He goes, Goosed. He goes, We've been goosed. So, <laughs> hashtag, ready? We can even say we, whatever you want. Either you or we. We've been lewd. How about that one? We've been lewd or you've been lewd. Hashtag. You've been lewd or we've been lewd, whatever you want. But it's just like, or Lou strikes again. <laughs> it's like, it's just, oh my God. It's just, it's just, it's really, really pathetic that people actually like still think that Lou has any idea what he's talking about. This is a guy that most likely collects food stamps. <laughs> he comes, goes to the grocery. He's... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, I'm sorry. He packs up a hundred, two hundred dollars worth of food, pulls out the food stamp card. This guy lives with his mother. Listen to me. Lou knows <laughs> Lou knows Lou knows as much about stock the stock market as I do about building a, a rocket ship with Elon Musk. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Lou, the only thing that this guy, Lou, knows how to do is be a con man. That's it. He's a professional con man. His whole life has been cons. His whole life. You know, I mean, it's the, this kid was probably on the corner in Harlem, you know, like doing those, like, you know, those cons where, where you got to pick, you know, which hand has the, like, the, the freaking quarter. He's... <laughs> You ever seen a movie with, with Joe Pesci, the super? Remember when the guy owed Joe Pesci like $200 in rent, right? So Joe Pesci, he was, they were doing that card game. We had to pick which hand, like which hand the, the card was in or whatever. So Joe Pesci lost $200. And then when the guy took the money, he gave it back to Joe Pesci. He said, here's the rent money. He goes, thanks a lot, brother. <laughs> That's Lou. 